I'm Harville Hendricks. I'm Helen LaKelly Hunt. And we just wanted to weigh in again about another tip to use at home when you're with your family. You know, our value system says um, that it's really important to be smart and know stuff. Because if you're smart and you know stuff, you make better grades and you get hired at better jobs, et cetera. But uh, some neuroscientist um, and also relational sciences came up one day the importance of not knowing. Hmm. That if you don't know, it's healthier for your relationships. Well, that's news to most people. You are around your family now so much. And you know how they're feeling, right? Yeah. You know what they're thinking because you know that you've known them all their life. So you know, you know what's going on with them. Maybe not. Maybe it would be important to practice not knowing them. Mm -hmm. And what we mean by that is to become curious rather than assuming you know or becoming judgmental. And being curious is when they're talking, instead of saying something back to them that's judgmental or interruptive, just say, is there more about that? And that expresses curiosity. And we know that when you show curiosity, which is the same thing as interest, the person you're talking to has a brain that will calm down. And then you let them talk some more and you say back to them what you heard and say again, is there more about that? And in that process, you move out of the knowing into the not knowing and become more and more aware of who it is you're really talking with. You know, tonight at dinner, you might wanna ask your family, hey, I think I know what some of you are feeling, but I don't really, no. I, maybe I don't know. Why don't we all go around and just talk about how is it feeling right now? And, and listen. Just, and just listen to each other. Just listen without uh, judging or trying to change their minds. And we'll be back again with more information. Thank you and have a good day.